Hey guys, Professor Dave here. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about elimination reactions, specifically the E2 reaction. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. So in any elimination reaction, two groups from adjacent carbons uh, are, are removed and replaced by a double bond between those two carbons. So let's take a look. Uh, here's just a, uh, you know, a, a, a bromopropane. And so here is a hydrogen and here's the bromine. These are the two adjacent carbons. So what's going on is some nucleophile, uh, let's say hydroxide. In this case, instead of doing a substitution reaction, we're going to do an acid-base reaction. That means that a proton will be extracted. So notice that the arrow goes from the hydroxide directly to this proton. And then the electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bond are going to go and form the double bond between these two carbons. And then, just as with a substitution reaction, a leaving group must leave. So this is what's left, propene. And then we have uh, water and the uh, bromide ion. And so uh, basically, one thing that is very important to keep in mind in an elimination reaction is that it is a beta elimination, meaning if this is the leaving group here, this is the alpha position, this is the beta position. It is, a, it is a proton on the beta carbon that is removed because it is not going to work out to remove a proton at the alpha position because then those electrons will have nowhere to go. Instead, what happens is that this carbon is able to receive the electrons in this carbon-hydrogen bond, which are the electrons that form the, uh, the, the pi bond, because this carbon can also lose the electrons that, uh, are, that are now belonging to the bromine. So let's take a look at the transition state of this reaction to better understand the mechanism. So just like the SN2 reaction, the 2 is referring to a bimolecular transition state, meaning that the substrate is attached to both the leaving group and uh, the proton that's being ex extracted uh, at the same time, making this a concerted reaction. It happens all at once in one step. So here we can see uh, that the uh, hydroxide is weakly forming a bond to the proton that's being extracted as the bond between the proton and the carbon is, is weakening. Uh, as well, the bond between the carbon and the leaving group is weakening and the pi bond begins to materialize. So this happens all at once. It is not the case that the hydroxide extracts the proton, then at a later time the electrons go to form the pi bond, and then once the pi bond is being formed, the carbon realizes it has too many bonds and lose, uh, loses the bond to the leaving group. That's not the case. In fact, all of these bonds are materializing and de dematerializing at once. So there's the transition state and then the final product with the pi bond uh, in place. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and as always feel free to email me with questions professordaveexplains at gmail.com.